I like whipped cream. And, uh, recipe was really too easy. We is should, it too easy? This was too easy, yeah. It's not easy for you. We, <laughs> No, we're out of time. We're out of time. Yeah. Well, well, we're just going to have to cut something out of the middle. <laughs> <laughs> On this show, that's not going to be hard to do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Out there, All right. Boy, that's enough already. All right. Well, welcome to the garage and another edition of At Home on the Range, shot right here at the Village Crean. And we have a yeah. garage full of people. And so what are we making that you're here with? We're these? making stuffed zucchini. Stuffed zucchini. Yeah. Well, you know, there's not a whole lot you can take out of a zucchini to stuff it. <laughs> what? Yeah, you can. Right? We can. Well, it's going to go along here. But we, is time, are we, are we through with the mail? Can we start? Okay, we got, we're going to start over here on the stove. And I turned the stove on early. And this is okay. some beef broth. Beef broth. This What's that little white stuff in that's it? That's grease. <laughs> Beef broth. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, we can turn Whoa, that. Oh, it's bubbling. It looks like toxic waste. We can turn waste. that down. We can turn this down now. That looks like that cloud that was over San Francisco. Is this right front? All right. Down. Okay. And this is uh, te pepper. Pepper. How much pepper? Uh, a quarter of a teaspoon. Oh, we got to stir that. Quarter of a teaspoon. We got to stir that. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. You want the white one or the red one tonight? I think I have the red one matches my nails. All right. <laughs> All right. And this is two uh, teaspoons full of crushed garlic. Crushed garlic. Crushed garlic, yeah. And this okay. is uh, two teaspoons of basil. You sure? Yeah. It's like oregano. No, it's basil. Basil, basil. Okay. Now, let's Where'd you got... get this recipe? Out of, a, out of a Time Life book again. Oh, I know you weren't crazy about that no, Time no, Life book. No, they have some really bad recipes, but this one isn't bad. This is pretty oh. good. And when that starts boiling, we've got to put these in there. Okay, what's this? That's a noodle. Really? Yeah, we're, yeah, we're going to serve these with some, with some buttered noodles, which we're okay. going to make, too. So we're going to put these in here. So you cut the zucchinis in half. Right, all in half, yeah. Ooh, that smells good already. It's a basil, I guess. Mm-hmm, it Boy. does. No, I mean, I had this for dinner. It was so good. Donna and I did. We had it. It was great. Okay. So you've already now we've tested put the, this recipe. Now we've got to put the lid on that. Okay. <laughs> oh, well done. <laughs> all right, now. now. What about this? What about this? That's, gonna, that's for our noodles. Is it supposed to do something? It's going to boil. Okay. Maybe we ought to put it. It's on high, isn't it? Let's see. Now, we've got to figure this out. This is left. Left front burner. Left front. That's this one. It's on high. It's, it's going to boil. Put the lid on. And, you know, I, I got that water out of the, um, the filtered water because, you know, when you do noodles with this Newport Beach water, it gets, um, it's got um, a lot of stuff in it. Bugs and stuff. And chlorine. Yeah. And the taste. The you bugs know, aren't so bad, but the chlorine taste. Um, when you talked about the Newport Beach water on national television, yes. and said that your water had bugs in it, we got a lot of calls. Did you? <laughs> oh, we certainly did. People are jealous, you know what? <clears throat> yeah. In fact, we had several calls from people who wanted to sell us water filters here. In the really? <laughs> Boy, they got all that water in St. Louis and no bugs in it. <laughs> no. <clears throat> Boy, that's not too funny. That's awful, that, that water in St. Louis. I know. Yeah. Now, what did you do here? I'm, I'm dicing this tomato. But actually what I'm doing, I'm killing time while I'm waiting to, for the water to boil. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, you know, I've got so fast doing the, the network show that the 21 minutes, it just is, is uh, we've you got time left over. You are the fastest chef in the West. Fastest chef in the West. Yeah, okay. That's all diced now. That's kind of mushed instead of diced, isn't That's it? That's diced. That's diced. Beautiful. I thought dicing was little cubes. That's little cubes. Then in the cube. That's well, a long, skinny that's a cube. thing. 
That's a cube. I like this. It matches my and, nails. Look. And, and this. <laughs> All right, now. Oh, I didn't set the timer. No. You got to put. That's got to cook five minutes. Has it been five in there five minutes? minutes? Uh, no. Has it been five minutes? No. What do you think? A minute? Two minutes? Two. Two, two minutes. Two minutes. Someone in the audience is paying attention. Yeah. What a novel idea. <laughs> you know, it's probably long enough. You think so? It's long enough. Yeah. How what do you know the... if they're done? Well, they're not, but we don't care. Okay. We only got 21 minutes. No, no, this, wor this works well, because, you know, when I had this for dinner, the outside of this was real crunchy, which was nice. Uh-huh. Because, you know, that's what I hate about zucchini most of the time. It's so mushy and gooey, you know, but this is, this worked well. Okay. All right. Now. Cover this again? Yes. Are well, we no, you don't, you don't need to cover it. You don't need to cover it anymore. No. No, no, we got to turn Uh-oh. I set the wrong one off. Okay, now we got to turn, we got to turn this on high. You yes. know, you, you really, you really shouldn't even touch these, these knobs. <laughs> Because Bar Bar boy, Barbara has uh, Barbara has cleavage tonight. <laughs> boy, I hey, I read something. Where is sex sell? So I'm trying to up our ratings. Okay, now this is this is one half pound of hamburger. Okay. I mean in the pan here. In the pan. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now keep that uh, keep that swished around there. Swish it. Yeah. Now, well, there's you know different techniques here. Do you want me to chop and smash, well, or is it a stirring? It's got to be in little bitty pieces. So okay, you gotta, yeah, that, that means chop that and smash. I'll tell you what, if you put the lid down somewhere, you'll have both hands. And then you can hold the, the pan so it doesn't go. You learn these tips on the show, see? Two these hands are cooking is good. Show, two hands are yep. good. Okay. All right. This is kind of fun. You know, if you're cooking at night and you had a bad day at work, you just think about the person that pissed you off and you go... Barbara. <laughs> now, watch your language. Now, let me tell you. Let me tell you today when I had these, these zucchinis, these zucchinis, we have to take the middle out of them. Uh -huh. And today I, I tried to do it with a spoon. It wouldn't work. So I went out in the garage. I got a piece of piano wire and I made this thing here, which works pretty good. You know what? Look here. This, this works. You push it down in here somewhere like this and drag it along. You know, that actually does work. Yeah. And then but you're going to slice your fingers. Sapo, there's, there's a middle out of there. About that. Let now, me try. Now, I want to try. No, you're not, you're not old enough for that. Can I try and one? And that works so well, I, went, I got an old piece of a saw blade right there, and this piece of wood and some tape, and I made this one. And this one really works a lot better. It really does. In fact, you've got to be careful because you'll cut right through the whole zucchini here. But it does. It really works good. That looks very dangerous. Ooh, I just cut through the zucchini. I got off a little bit. This one's missing a piece. Yeah, well, it won't well, just, hurt. Just like cut over that there and put it in. Do what? Just so, cut over right. there and put it in. All right, now you can't. You can really cut your finger with this thing. Well, that's probably why they don't sell them in the stores. Well, you wouldn't have to have. Oh, that's a nice one there. That worked out good. You've got to. Um, well, I'd like to try one. Well, should we let her try one? <laughs> Barbara, you were voted down. Oh, ye yeah, of little faith. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of women like me that, because I see them in the stores and stuff, and people come over to me and they go, you know, I watch your show and I cook just the way you do. Barbara didn't cook at all, actually. I know. Okay. This is boiling. Oh, terrific. Terrific. I now, just thought I'd bring that to your that's attention. A, that's, a, that's good good information, good to know. So we're going to put the noodles in here. Okay. So these are just plain old Stir noodles. Stir them around. Stir them around a little this bit. This way you can clean up your spoon, too. Yeah. And we've got a timer here. Now, those, those have got to cook nine minutes. See? Nine minutes. Covered yeah. or uncovered? Uncovered. Ah, uncovered. It's running. Yeah, uncovered. What are these called? They're noodles. I never saw it, but you know how noodles always have some cute little names, well, like let's wagon see. wheels. Or... Let's see. I had the thing for them. Where is it here? Did you no. get these noodles for free again? No, I bought them. They cost a lot of money. Oh, I just thought because maybe they were broken up, somebody no. gave me it for nothing. I had to, I had the wrapper because I, I kept the wrapper because it says how long to cook them. But I remembered it's ten minutes, from eight to ten minutes, and that means eight nine. Eight to ten minutes. And that means nine minutes. Okay, I mangled this meat, and now you're doing good. Just keep doing what like you're doing. It looks like little, little pieces of something. You're doing good. Keep doing what you're doing. And All there's right. water in this pan. What about the tomatoes? Tomatoes go, go in last. Now, what do you do with the insides of the zucchinis? We're going we're gonna to cut those up, and we're going to put them in that, with that hamburger. Well, wouldn't it just have been easy to take the zucchini all whole and cut it up and put it in this pan? looks like a lot of work for nothing. No, no, because the, the inside gets cooked more than the outside does. 
Really? Really, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I don't think your tool worked so good. Works terrific. <laughs> really did. Now we got to cut these up. Most of them, it took the outside too. Well, it did better than a spoon. God, when I tried to do it with a spoon, it was awful. And here, Wouldn't work look, at all. right there. That's the edge. That's the outside, right? What did you do with that? That's good I threw food. It away. Oh boy, people are starving in Somalia, and you throw stuff away. Oh man. Okay, now we've got to put this in with a hamburger. Are you okay. paying attention to the hamburger? Um, yes, I am. I can see. <laughs> I can see you are. Yes, I am, and the hamburger's cooked, and it's Good. really greasy. Good. Should Taste I stir it. these noodles? No, you don't. Oh, okay. They're fine. They can stir themselves. Okay, now you got to keep stirring that. Just keep stirring it, okay? Now, we were supposed to have... Um, Was all of our, uh, of our broth was left in there? Right, we didn't throw anything away. Okay, we're all right. The meat absorbed okay. it. Okay. And the little okay. fat modules disintegrated. They're now part of the meat. Where's, oh, here it is here. Okay. What's when that? that? Gets, well, that's, that's uh, cornstarch. Cornstarch, so corn this starch. is going to be thick. I don't need this. That's going to be thick, yeah. So when that gets done a little bit, we're going to put the cornstarch in there so it gets thick. I think you should leave the cornstarch out of there. Why? Why? Because cornstarch is fattening and you really don't need it. Well, if you And didn't then it makes it gummy. It look, and then if you leave it out without covering it, if you it didn't looks eat, like Play-Doh. Yeah. If you didn't eat anything at all, it would be really, really, uh, where is, boy. What are you looking for? I'm looking for a spoon. Here we go. Because I've got to have a little water in this cornstarch. You can't, if you put the cornstarch in without, without diluting it, it'll be a big solid glob in there. And we don't want that. It looks like Elmer's glue. That's right. It is. You know, they make Elmer's glue out of cottage cheese or out of, it's a milk product. Did you know that? No, I didn't yeah, know that. Comes really? Comes from cows, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just like brown eggs come from brown No, it chicken. does. I'm not buying any more of that no, stuff. No, it does. Okay. Now, this is the um, cornstarch. Now, that's going to thicken that up. Now, keep stirring a lot. You stir a lot there now. <coughs> hey, I got All news right. for you. That didn't do anything. Yes, it Look. did. Look, it disappeared. It got absorbed. Well, just keep stirring. Just keep stirring. Boy. Do you see anything right? Nothing. Even this lady in the front row is agreeing with me. Uh oh, they all won't fit. Yeah, they will. Cut one Boy. in half. They, all right. All right. Oh, I got to turn the. You're, oh, you're doing Look, good. See? No, just keep it stirring. It disappeared. But yeah, it got in there well, and it thickened everything up. Where do you see anything thickening? Well, it, it's thickened. It looks like it's the thickened. same. All right, now we're going to put the tomatoes in. Okay. Just keep stirring. I'm stirring. Yeah, when you stop to think, it's really bad news. <laughs> yeah. Boy. You know, I'm sure that there's probably going to be a lot of women's organizations that are going to write to you. Because you think of so? your rude behavior, yes. We've still got three minutes on the noodles. And you don't want to stir these. No. They're probably all stuck to the bottom you of the pot. You think so? I think so. You think so? Okay. Well, you know, because it's bubbling and nothing's bubbling to the top. Okay. Well, uh, stir the stuff there. I'm stirring the stuff. In fact, we can turn this fire down to, to almost nothing. But now look what's happening to is this the it right tomatoes. Front. This is it. Right? Front. This is it. Okay. All right. We got but it look now. what's happening now. What? If you smash well, the tomatoes. Yeah, you're sma you quit smashing them. It becomes oh. tomato sauce. That's why we put them in last, see? Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, dear. <laughs> Okay. Are we are we on? Yes, we're on. Is the camera? Oh, oh, we're rolling. Oh. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. Did I wake you? All right. You? All right. All right. <clears throat> you think the uh, now? Can we move that? Oh, can we move that over to that burner and bring the noodles over sure, here? Sure, we can do whatever can you, do you that? please. All right. Terrific. Terrific. All right. Now I need all this stuff right here. Now this I just kind of winged. I, I can't. It's going to be hard to. Uh, Give us, put the noodles in the pan so they cook. It's going to be kind of hard. You know what, hard. I think they're done. Well, they're, uh, they're, they're just about, about, <laughs> about two more minutes. It says, you don't test them. I mean, it's, it's five to eight minutes, it says. And that says, that says eight minutes now. So that's enough, isn't it? That's enough. That's enough. I think that's they're enough. done. That's enough. That's enough. Taste them. Taste them. What do you want to taste them for? Well, then you can see if they're done or not. Well, I guess it's too late now. They're, they're done. done now. They're done. They're done. All right. So now what are you going to do with them? I'm going to put this stuff in them right here. Uh, 
Maybe I can borrow that that spoon or real heavy whipping cream. Right, right. Whoa, right. Now, another dietetic dish. Yeah, this is this is this is just a little bit, just a little bit, just to make them good. And then this is a little black pepper, just a little black pepper. It's hard to measure this because you don't know just exactly. But this was so good. And then a little of this red pepper. Now, if you've got any wimps, don't try this with because the red pepper makes it hot, but it really makes it Whoa. good. A little bit of salt. Uh oh, did I did I bring my People always do that when, when I put the salt in. Um, what, what was your first clue that maybe you're using too much salt in these recipes? No, you got to have salt or it won't be good. And then we got this. All of that? No, no, about about two tablespoons is what you need. That's what that is right there. Okay. Okay. All right. Do we stir? Right. No, you're you're that's your pot there. <laughs> And well, we stir. Right, it looks finished. These are really good. That is practically finished. In fact, you can stir this. Wait a minute. We're going to put a little Parmesan cheese in here. And this is the best Parmesan, Parmesan cheese in the green box. <laughs> this stuff they have in a restaurant, you know, in Andy's restaurant, where they shave it off the brick, you know, that's not good at all. This is the good stuff. <laughs> now, you can stir that. Let me have this. Let me have this right here. All right. Okay, I'm stirring just, this just stir that, yeah. combination. Stir that and leave me alone, okay? Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so you're filling those up. We're stuffing these, see? Stuffing them. Yeah, these are stuffed zucchinis, so we're stuffing them. Hey, you know, we have bugs in the garage. Yeah, we got, well, we have, in the morning we have bees. When we're doing the, um, doing the home show, we have bees in here. I wonder if the health department will show up one day and close us down. No. They're healthy flies. <laughs> Boy, this stuff was so good. We had it for dinner tonight, because that, that zucchini, you know, is real crunchy on the bottom. Oh, the noodles are done. Noodles are done. The noodles are done. Okay, so what do we do now? Did I put the noodles in there? No. Uh, no, just keep stirring, Barbara. Oh. Don't stop stirring. All right. Terrific. Now, I was wondering if ever now this I'm going to actually mozzarella. be able to cook. This is mozzarella cheese here. Well, we should have this over here where our camera can see it, I guess. Yes. Yeah, all the fire's out, I hope. Yes, all the all fire's right. are out. Now, this is mozzarella cheese that I grated. I didn't buy this. Really? Yeah, and you know, it's a lot cheaper when you grate it yourself. You know that? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, when you buy it. I don't it, really go to the supermarket. You was in the supermarket with me the other day. I was. It was a fate worse than death. Boy. Oh, boy. She wanted to buy Canadian bacon because it fit the English muffins. <laughs> international touch you know all right now doesn't My that look, doesn't that look terrific huh look at that isn't that, isn't that great huh mm -hmm. this is a great dish I guess now we're gonna put this in the oven here okay and that's gonna melt that cheese is the oven on the oven's not on <laughs> how are we gonna melt the cheese is the propane on we're in trouble we're in trouble we're in trouble <laughs> The propane is not. And now everyone's just staring at your butt. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I can't. <clears throat> well, I know through the magic of television, we have a completed dish. No, the propane's dish. on. The propane's on. Oh, and you know what's hysterical? What's it's like hysterical? The, there's like a line right down your body. Did you get sunburn only on the front of your body? Where? Right down your legs. No, I've got a striped body. <laughs> now, anyhow, we're going to have to finish this up because when the oven is on, uh -huh. you just have it on a broiler, and then it melts this cheese. In fact, you know it's melting now because it's so hot. That's right. So it's pretty close to well, what it's supposed to look like. This is make-believe TV, so it's is okay. It? No. Everyone can imagine what it looks like. Now, let's, let's do what we're, what we're supposed to do here. If you've got people in the, in, the, in the dining room waiting for their dinner, you take these little puppies oh, yes, out of here. Oh, yes, serve it uncooked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here, you know what? You need to grab it with your hands. We need to keep your cotton-picking little hands out of the way, and we'll get it done. <laughs> okay. Now, this is a great That actually dinner. looks pretty good. You know this what? I wouldn't really put good. it in the... I would just let it melt naturally. I think that's better. Well, that's all right. But the oven, it just has to be in there for a second. So there we have it, and it's terrific. Well, another right. successful dish! Yeah, all we right. Get out of here! Thank you! Okay. All right. All right. You know, I am, this is
here's another one of my designs because I figured that we're going to get really famous. So now I've been trying to work on aprons with cleavage and dressing for the kitchen, and I'm calling it slutwear for cooking. Oh, yeah. That's right. All right. By the time I finish, there will be a slut in every kitchen. Yeah. All right. Now, now, if you watch our show regularly, you know that chili is something that we, we've made like three or four different versions of chili. Yes. Okay? We, we didn't make this, though. Did no, we didn't make this. But this is fartless chili. Yes. Now, I know that this, this is a problem when you're making chili. If you want to have a dinner party, you know, right. you can't really serve chili because, oh, my God. So here it says... Are you a chili lover who suffers from the unsociable side effects of eating good chili? Then try my fartless recipe, which I have enclosed. It just might help. But if it doesn't, what the heck? May all yours be quiet, little ones. And it's signed... Yeah. Yeah. No, but it worked. It's signed sincerely, the old fart. But Barbara, it, it, it really worked. It, it, I made some of that. It worked. It really did? It did. It you weren't pooping? Yeah. Well, um, I don't know where you buy this, but they, I guess inside of it is has all kinds of ingredients. And yeah, things. it had all this stuff and a, and, a, and, a, and a recipe and everything, yeah. Really? And I made it. <laughs> and, I ate, and I ate most of it, and uh, nothing happened. <laughs> all right. I think I'm allergic to it. My nose is running again. Do you think so? Oh, speaking of noses, you know, I, you know how I, I'm always shopping and finding interesting things. Well, the, mm -hmm. one of the things that really bothers me, because I'm so short, I'm always looking up people's noses. I bet you don't know what this is. No, what is that? This is an automatic nose clipper. What? And you just stick what? it in the nose. Oh, my God. Oh. And it's so good on. Yeah. Isn't that great? Wonderful. It's All right. battery operated. I, I imagine, yeah. That's wonderful. What is that? Well, you put your lollipop on and it goes around. Barbara, I can imagine what you'd use that for. Well, no, it's not a marital aid. This is a, a lollipop thing. All right. It's for, it's for, you know, it's right, for Barbara, let's, let's start the show. Are you going to put flour in that? Boy, what a woman. 